The holiday period is almost here and I'm certainly looking forward to spending some time away from my computer and with my family and loved ones, as I'm sure many of you are. What a year, or really two years, we have faced. I won't talk about what the last two years has meant for us all, as I'm sure we all have our own views on that, but I will say the last lockdown was a tough one for many of us. The three-day snap lockdown that went for 77 days. We certainly saw the impact on students on their return to face-to-face -to -face throughout the term. There is no doubt that they need to be on site consistently for us to assist them greater and for them to re-establish their peer relationships and student-teacher relationships. I'm instead choosing to focus on the future and plan for what is in front of us, not what's behind us. What I promise to you all is that I will reinstate extracurricular opportunities both inside and outside of the college, all camps and excursions, interstate and international experiences to return with government approval around safety, sporting teams and lunchtime clubs, and any new initiatives that we believe will build strong connections between students and staff. Over the last few days, staff have held meetings around professional learning and planning to guide and support students in 2022. Sub-schools have sent both short and long-term targets and goals to meet the needs of students specific to their areas that caters for the students' holistic development based around their physical, social, emotional and cognitive needs. The collective work ethic of staff at the college has been absolutely outstanding throughout this difficult year. I'm extremely humbled to work with such dedicated staff who prioritise the needs of all students across the college. I wish all staff a restful and safe Christmas and New Year. I would like to recognise and congratulate our Year 12 students who have now received their ATA results. I hope that all the hard work throughout the year has paid off and that your future pathways into further study were achieved. Our Ducks this year has scored an ATA above 95. I received correspondence yesterday from the department informing me that children between the age of 5 and 11 will be eligible for vaccinations as of the 10th of January next year, 2022. I recommend all families to consider vaccinating your children after completing your own thorough investigation of all the pros and cons for your child. I want to reinforce that the school and staff do not enforce that any child to be vaccinated. This is a personal and family decision. As a college, we are directed and must follow the guidance from the Department of Education and the Chief Health Officer. Thank you to all our families for your ongoing support and trust in us. This is what makes schools strong. Strong connections with parents and guardians and families built on mutual respect and trust. I wish all students, parents, guardians and staff a safe and restful uh, festive period I hope and pray that the new year brings greater certainty and safety for us all so we can get back to on-site learning and return all of the amazing opportunity, opportunities that school life brings. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.